Good morning, everybody, and welcome to another GA canine training video. Today we're featuring canine Vito, just about a year old Gonski Polsky hound. Uh, we're about finished with him from a training perspective, and now it's time to introduce him to tactical tracking. And the biggest part about track, yeah. tactical tracking is introducing the dog to the team. Team movement, team flanking, team formations. This can be really, really difficult for dogs because they don't understand why people are moving around them. They're used to people following, not coming up on their flanks, not moving off to the side and to the front. And when these things happen, it can be really distracting. But you have to understand why it's distracting. The biggest issue for the dog is the fact that they're working in an almost like a pack-like behavior. If the team is behind them and following, that's what they're used to. They're used to that pack leader type situation. They're in charge. They're running this thing. And then if all of a sudden they see a, a flanker moving off to the side and somewhere else, in their little pea brain, what they're thinking is, ah, he must have my track or he must have my subject. I got to follow and see what he's doing. This is usually what creates this problem. The other thing it can also do, especially with the more alpha dogs, is create a situation where the dog believes that this is now a challenge that this this other pack member has taken over my track or he's going to take my subject and this is a challenge and i got to deal with it so either way it can be a really really big issue for dogs and we have to introduce them to it nice and slowly i like to get my dog on a good solid track really really strong for a good long distance so they have that three-tone missile lock before i actually start moving the team and this is exactly what we did here uh, Vito did an amazing job. This was a difficult, difficult trail with some great obstacles in it, lots of team movement, lots of distractions from an animal perspective, but brought uh, the team right to the end point. Unfortunately, it was right to an ambush. And in this case, uh, Sims Wilbanks, my partner, uh, took out three of five, all with headshots. So uh, it was losing for the team, but win-win for the dog. Hope you enjoy the video. Hey, bon, Lulu. Premier ma casquette. T'arrives juste à me choper ma casquette, s'il te plaît.
Levet. Leave it. That's a chef set. Ça suit ou pas C'est bien, gamin. C'est bien. C'est ok. C'est ok. C'est ok. Good boy. Leave it. Can open a little. Leave it. Get to work. Get to work.
Peu de maille. Eh bien, Lulu. Et vite. Excuse. Good boy. C'est bon. Get to work. Get to work. Are you okay? Get to work. Good boy. Leave it. Leave it. Just wait, Scott. Just wait. It's okay. Leave it. Leave it. Leave it. Be careful with the tree. Good boy! Good boy! Eh bien, Lulu! Eh bien! Oui! You can go? Un sac. We have a bag. Bag. Good boy. <coughs> At the dog, we found a bag. <coughs> Behind the tree, it's a bag. C'est bien, Lulu. Je dois euh, trouver la sortie.
I'm hit! Now you get to see the results of Sim's handiwork here. This is what happens when you're not prepared for the ambush, when you make some basic mistakes. The first basic mistake is missing a proximity alert. The other basic mistakes that you can make are bad formation, bad movement, too much noise, uh, no light discipline. All of these factors play into a tactical track when you are hunting dangerous suspects. You have to pay attention to the basics. More importantly, you have to train with reality. If you like what we do, if you have an interest in my training, make sure you check out my book. It's called Tactical Tracker Teams, and it's available at our website, www.gacanine.com.